Hey everybody, welcome back to Sueño de Vida in the cloud forest of Ecuador. So today I'm going to show you guys a little before and after or uh, comparison between a plot where we used a combination of biochar and nitrogen rich mulch and where we didn't. So this is where we didn't and I just want to show you guys this plant. It's still very healthy because there's a lot of mulch on the ground. See we've got mulch and we've got mycelia growing and it's in good healthy soil. So it's a good healthy plant. But now let's go over and let's see a comparison to the one that was grown in a combination of mulch and biochar. Okay, so as you can see, these leaves are tremendous in size. And this is the exact same plant as I showed you over there. And it was planted at the same time, so it's not even any older. But the difference is that this plant was planted in a mixture of very, very well mulched mulch soil and biochar. I actually did an open barn here with a lot of vegetation and made this beautiful, crumbly, black, amazing stuff. The biochar is actually holding on to the nutrients in the soil. And you can see the effects of it right here, okay? Now, the question that always comes up when people see things like this, natural fertilizers with mulch and biochar, is the question people always want to ask is, well, how are you going to scale that up? You know, this is a very small plot. It's just a demonstration plot. How can you scale that up to a bigger size? Well, I think this question really exposes the lack of imagination that's going on in regenerative agriculture in general. Um, if I had a bottle of miracle Grow, and I'm like with my plastic bottle of miracle Grow, would anybody ever ask me, can you scale that up? No, because we assume, we assume that a plastic bottle filled with chemicals that's packed in a, in a plant and labeled and then trucked to a hardware store and then brought to your store, we assume that all these things are scalable, even though they are infinitely complex to set up, much more complex than mulching and making biochar on your own lands. But because it's already a $300 billion in a year industry, agrochemicals, we assume that it can be scaled up. So the question is, is if, if can that be scaled up? I think the question is like, well, why not? Why can't biochar and natural fertilizers and mulching be scaled up? Um, obviously, there needs to be a capital shift. There's tons of money out there in agriculture. Conventional agriculture is a huge industry and only 1% of all the money going in agriculture in general goes towards anything regenerative. So it's not about more money. It's not about more capital. It's about moving capital from one sector to another. We also need farmers on the ground, mulching, using biochar, making the organic fertilizer and doing the work. And we also really also need consumers, you guys out there demanding things that are better for you and not grown in chemical laced laden soils with fertilizers and chemical fertilizers and, and herbicides, yeah? So these three things need to come together. Producers, consumers, and capital investment. That's how I see it in order to scale things up. And we also need to ask, is scaling up the holy grail of everything, right? How big of a scale do we really need? How much wheat, corn, and soy does the world really need? Maybe what we need are smaller pieces of land growing more nutrient-dense foods. That's also something to think about in the quest for scale. Hey folks, so thank you so much if you've subscribed. We recently hit 500 subscribers, little tiny milestone here on YouTube. So if you want to help the channel grow, that is the best way to do it. Please subscribe and help us hit that thousand, thousand subscriber mark. YouTube's already got ads on all my videos, so please help us get to a thousand. Um, we also have a Patreon page, and that is what helps to fund these videos, pay for our internet, my time and energy out here making these videos for you guys, because we really want to spread the word about agroforestry. So please check out our Patreon, lots of exclusive benefits up there for you as well.